Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. Here we have given a rectangle with two sides of length 16 and 18. And there are two circles inside the rectangle. Our target is to find out the radius of the smaller circle. Now to find out the radius of the smaller circle, first of all here we will connect the centers of these two circles to the lower point of tangencies. So this circle and this figure will become now let us suppose this is the radius of the smaller circle. So let us suppose this is small r. Now what will be this length? Now look to the diameter of this bigger circle. This is parallel to this side of the rectangle. Now this length is 18 units. So this will be half of the diameter. So this is 8 units. Now here we will draw a perpendicular from this center to this one radii. And we will also join the centers of these two circles. So this figure will become we had this radius is small r so what will be this line which is parallel to this one side so here this line will be also small r what will be the remaining length here this total length is 8 minutes so this remaining length will be 8 minus r minutes so here this length is 8 minus r and what will be this one length this one length will be the sum of the radii of these two circles so the radius of this circle is 8 and this is r so this length will be 8 plus r here we will try to find out the length of this one side which is not given. So for that to get to this length and this length, here this length is parallel to the radius of this circle. So this will be small r. And this length is parallel to the radius of this bigger circle. So this will be 8 units. What will be the remaining length? This remaining length will be 18 minus 8 minus r. So 18 minus 8 is simply 10. So this length will be 10 minus r. And this length will be also 10 minus r now as this line is perpendicular to this radius so here therefore the angle at this point will be a right angle and therefore this triangle will be a right angle triangle so therefore here we can apply the pythagoras theorem so here we will apply the pythagoras theorem and we will find out the value of r the radius of this smaller circle so by pythagoras theorem we know that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so in this case our hypotenuse is 8 plus r our base is 10 minus r and our perpendicular is 8 minus r so this figure will become our hypotenuse is simply 8 plus small r whole square and our base is 10 minus small r whole square and perpendicular is 8 minus small r whole square now let's six on both sides so this will become r square simply 64 plus r square plus 16 r and this will become 10 square is simply 100 plus r square minus 20 r and this will become r square is 64 plus r square minus 16 r so it's for simplify both sides so there is 64 so we'll cancel 64 with 64 and r square with r square so this will become 16 r is equal to r square minus 20 r and minus 16 r is simply minus 36 r plus 100 here we'll take this 16 r to the right hand side so this will become negative 16 r so this equation will become this is r square and this is negative 16 r negative 36 r is about minus 52 r plus 100 is equal to 0. Now here we have a quadratic equation. So here we will try to solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So therefore next thing we can write this as this is r square and this can be written as minus 2 r minus 50 r plus 100 is equal to 0. Now there is r common in the first two terms. So like taking r common, this will become r minus 2. And there is negative 50 common. So taking negative 50 common, this will become r minus 2 is equal to 0. And in both expression, this r minus 2 is common. So let us take out r minus 2 common. This will become r minus 50 is equal to 0. Here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either, either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we get 
r minus 2 is equal to 0 or r minus 50 is equal to 0 this gives him r is equal to 2 and this gives him r is equal to 50 so here r is equal to 50 is not possible we will reject this one when you apart this is because here the radius of the bigger circle is 8 units so this smaller circle it will be not equal to or more than 8 units so therefore this will be smaller than 8 so therefore r is equal to 2 is the correct value of r and correct radius of the smaller circle so finally our target and our target radius of this smaller circle is 2 units and it is our final answer